my first tip for more effective note taking is to actually take notes consistently. And this sounds like something that wouldn't be super helpful, but I run into a lot of people who say that they're bad at taking notes. And then I ask them, well, how often do you actually take notes? And they're like, well, I never take notes because I'm not good at it. The fact is taking notes is like any other skill. The only way you're going to get better is if you practice over a period of time. And once you start taking your notes more consistently, you will develop a style of note taking that works for you. It just might take you a little bit longer if you're um, not someone who's used to doing it. I would recommend taking notes every time you're in lecture and on any readings that you feel like apply if you're not sure where to begin. My second tip for note taking is that rewriting your notes is valid. Oh boy, I've talked about this before, but I really am a little bit tired of the advice for from a lot of like study accounts that talks about how rewriting your notes is a total waste of time. I really don't agree with it. I think that it can be an effective study method, provided you do it as soon as possible after the material is covered in class. So not only does that make your notes neater, which can be nice if you have hard to read handwriting, but it actively lets you review material to solidify gaps in your understanding and consolidate it and add extra information, rather than just passively reading over notes. Of course, I wouldn't recommend just doing it for the aesthetic, but I rewrite most of my notes and I'm okay with it. My third tip is that handwriting your notes is more effective than typing your notes, in most cases. In some cases, there are people who genuinely do need to type their notes, and that's okay too, but most studies show that typing your notes in lecture means that they're less effective at helping you remember the information that's covered, and this is because when you type, you're more likely to copy down information verbatim because most people type faster than they can write. And when you handwrite your notes, you have to pick and choose what to write down because you can't go quite as fast, and you're more likely to convey the information in your own words. If you like the convenience of digital notes but want to handwrite for better retention, consider taking your notes on a tablet with a program like GoodNotes, which lets you handwrite with a stylus, but good old-fashioned pen and paper works just as well, if not better, and I'm a pen and paper person myself. My fourth tip is one that I really never thought I'd have to tell people about, but here we go, I guess. Functionality is way more important than any kind of aesthetic. I was a little bit worried about posting my How I Take My Notes video because I thought a lot of people would say that my note-taking style is too extra because that's what I've heard from people whenever I show people my notes in real life. They're always like, how do you, you must spend so much time on this, it must take so much time, and I'm like, well, it, it works for me and it really doesn't take that much time. So I was a little bit worried that I would be promoting something that people found to be unrealistic um, because it's my personal style of note-taking. But um, I then ran into my comments section and I saw a lot of people who were like, this, this is so great that you're posting a minimal note-taking tutorial. I also had some really nasty comments about how they didn't like my handwriting and some other stuff. I got a lot of comments about how it was a really realistic note-taking method for everyone. And uh, I was flattered by this, but I was also a little bit surprised and a little bit concerned because it's my personal note-taking style. I don't necessarily think that it would work for anyone, and I have a lot of stationery that I use in the video. So it's really not about the stationery um, at all, by the way, I just want to let people know. But the other thing that I want to say is that you shouldn't feel the need to worry about drawing fancy diagrams or putting calligraphy titles or having handwriting that looks like a computer font whenever you take your notes. That's not a realistic expectation to set for yourself all the time. My notes don't always look like a work of art, and that's, that's okay. Honestly, this stu these study accounts are absolutely rotting some of your guys' brains, so you should just try to disengage from some of that content and worry about making your notes as effective as possible instead of as fancy as possible. My fifth tip is one about different kinds of classes, and for humanities classes, I found it more helpful to focus on large concepts when you take your notes. These seem to be more important for tests and exams and stuff, so concepts and vocab are more important. For STEM classes, on the other hand, I would recommend focusing on examples. Being able to apply concepts in these classes is way more effective than being able to um, just know the definitions of things. So. If you are in a STEM class and they write down an example, that's not an excuse to zone out. I find that those are pretty helpful. My sixth tip is one for faster note taking. And for faster note taking, I'd recommend using a highlighter, a quick drying gel pen, and correction tape. Honestly, all the fancy gel pens on the internet are really nice to write with and fun, but when you're taking notes in a fast paced lecture, waiting for them to dry so your notes don't smudge can be a real hassle. And I'd recommend using a 
pen that dries quickly as an alternative to some of these gel pens, even if they maybe aren't as aesthetic. If you make a mistake, go for correction tape over correction fluid because you don't have to wait for it to dry and you can write immediately on top of it. And a highlighter is more effective than a colored pen for adding color because you can just highlight after the lecture or when there's a break. You don't have to switch between pens in the middle of the lecture. My seventh tip is about color coding. I don't color code, but if you do, I'd recommend not making it too complicated. I know that color coding can be an effective strategy for memorizing stuff, so if that's something that you do, I'd recommend keeping it simple. Keep it to like three colors max, otherwise your pages just become unnecessarily brightly colored and it's hard to identify what information is going on. You shouldn't need a key to understand your color code and it shouldn't make your notes more complicated. My eighth tip is to focus on what the lecturer is saying, not what's written on the slides or handouts. Honestly, if someone had told me this before, I, this would have saved me a lot of time in college. You're not going to lectures to read the PowerPoint slides. You're going to learn what the lecturer has to say. So if the lecture is going fast, I'd focus on the things that they're saying rather than the presentation. And this might feel a little bit counterintuitive, but most lecturers provide slides or other supplementary material prior to the lecture or after the lecture. And if they don't, you can always ask. If you find yourself just zoning out and writing down the info on the slides, I'd consider printing out the slides prior to class and annotating them with the lecturer's comments because if they're good at lecturing, most of the information probably won't be on the slides anyway. Remember, lectures are one-time things. You can always get the slides later. And in the time of Rona, I know this has changed because a lot of lectures are recorded, but honestly, I would rather do almost anything than rewatch a Zoom lecture again. It's just excruciating. So just if you get it right the first time, you don't have to do a lot of extra work. My ninth tip is to organize your notes in a way that makes sense to you. Honestly, if you can't find your notes to study for the final, it's not going to be an effective note-taking strategy. Like, none of the tips I have in this video will help if you can't find them easily. Maybe you want to have separate notebooks for every class or a binder with multiple sections. Maybe you want to date or title them so you can specifically remember at a glance what's covered or have page flags. However you organize your notes is up to you, but I'd recommend having some kind of systems so you can easily find information and study them with ease. My final tip, my final tip is that for notes on readings, I think it's the best to summarize, summarize, summarize. It's really not necessary, especially for longer readings, that you copy down every single fact or key term. This will take a really long time and you'll likely burn yourself out and not be able to finish the reading. I'd recommend reading the whatever article, book, or whatever it is first, and then taking notes afterwards. And try to summarize what you're reading in your head. If you're taking notes while you're reading at the same time, try to write every paragraph as like one or two sentences. And this forces you to put the reading into your own words, active learning again, rather than painstakingly writing down extraneous information. So um, anyway, those are my tips for smarter note taking. I hope that was helpful.